up everybody, Hani Rambod here, getting ready six weeks out from the 2018 Olympia weekend. So I'm here in self-made Costa Mesa, train Jeremy, trying to get ready for the fifth title. He's getting really, really back on a really good groove because of the fact that he had the injury. Now what we're trying to do is take his body to a whole nother level, speeding the whole process up. So it's been four months in the beginning of the season where he wasn't able to train. Now it's all about trying to make up for lost time and getting him to his best ever. All right, so Bison Prize, what we're starting off with is we're starting off with hammer curls with the rope. So we want to hit the brachialis, we want to widen up that bicep, so the bigger the brachialis is, the wider the arm's going to look. So what we want to do is warm that up, and then we're going to work our way out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go by feel. Normally what we do is we do normally four sets, two serious working, two warm up, but because it's the first exercise and we're trying to really warm up his arms, we might go as high as six or seven sets because what we want to do is really get that good warm up. Because we're stepping away from the machine, what it's going to allow us to do is going to get, create tension in a different angle. So now we're going to turn around and really work on that brachialis even more so and a little less forearm. So this is going to help work on angles to, again, get the arm a little wider. do alternating dumbbell curls but what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the palms facing forward it's gonna create more constant tension on the bicep so therefore it's going to help with more growth slow one more good slow good good, good. Front double bicep right there. Right there, facing me. Good job. <sighs> That's it. Because we like to flex in between sets so we get more time under tension. So it's a principle on the FST7 system where we want more time under tension is going to equate to more growth. So Jeremy's feeling it in his shoulder with the cambered bar, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch it up, try to do dumbbells and see if we can get around it. Good. Two more. Good. Good. One more. doing reverse curls so we're going to go nice and the key for reverse curls is not going heavy you got to keep it light because if you go heavy the shoulders will kick in and you're going to end up swinging you got to keep it light we're just going to do a couple of sets just to finish them off all right so we're six weeks out i came in assess where we're at how his body is rehabilitating itself and being able to get through to this prep Again, this was one of those things that we were 50-50 about being able to even do this prep. But because his body is really recovering quickly, we're going through with it. As of right now, everything is definitely getting the improvements exponential. I mean, I've never seen somebody who can actually recover from a pec tear the same year and come back and hit stage. So that's what our goal is. He's making some big improvements from a couple of months ago when I saw him, six, six weeks ago, actually, when I saw him last. 
and it's been really good to see that not only is his chest getting better, his arms are getting better, so we really try to focus on his biceps today. He's doing a great job. I'm really, really proud of him, and I'm glad that I'm here. Thank you so much to Self Made for hosting us.